Hi, this is Chris with Fisher Workshops, and in this video learn how to customize a leather coin purse using a variety of exotic leathers to decorate it with. A PDF pattern for this design can be downloaded from fisherworkshops.com. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Fisher Workshops to get our latest video releases. Let's start by first tracing out our pattern onto a piece of leather. I recommend using leather no thicker than 1.6 millimeters for this project. If the leather is too thick, then it will be difficult to open and close. Using a circular cutter, I'm going to make a decorative window for my exotic leather. Now using a stitching groover, carve out all the stitching grooves. Cut out a piece of leather to cover the back of the decorative window with. I'm using 09 millimeter thick horse leather, although any thin leather is sufficient. Then draw stitching lines on three ends of the back piece. Bevel the edges with an edge beveler. I'm using a Japanese craft tool number one for this project. Next, apply a little slicking gum or water and burnish. I want to blend several colors together for a more exotic looking stain, so I'm going to first apply an antique stain. I'm using a Japanese brand antique stain by Kraft. Immediately after application of the antique stain, I want to use a damp sponge to remove any excess. Next, I want to apply a small amount of dark brown stain to the tip of a damp sponge and slowly apply to the edges in a circular motion moving inward as I go. Apply several thin coats of sheen after the stain has dried. I applied four coats of a high gloss sheen. Then I applied a little mink oil to the interior piece of the leather. I'm going to cut a small piece from the leg.
Before I can attach the gazelle skin, I want to punch my stitching holes around the window. Use a little contact cement of your choice to attach the exotic leather to the back of the interior piece of leather. To make sure I fix the gazelle hide to the right spot, I will draw a circle around the interior piece where the hide will attach. Now we can attach the interior to the coin purse body. Now go over the stitching holes again and make sure you punch through the interior piece. Next, saddle stitch the decorative window together. After saddle stitching the exotic leather to the frame of the coin purse, we can then punch two holes for the buttons. I'm using a button press, or you can buy a simple button setter as well. Apply a little contact cement to the corner edges and attach once the glue begins to set. For the best results, I recommend using a hand stitching chisel plier to punch the edge holes with. Next, saddle stitch the edges together. To finish up, I want to go over the edges with a sander or a rotary sander to make sure all the edges are smooth before burnishing. Lastly, apply a little burnishing gum or water to the edges and burnish with a wood slicker or a pro burnisher like the one in this video. Now that we're finished, let's see how it looks. To close the purse, slowly work the edges inward until they fold evenly towards the center. <laughs> 